how to make a grilled cheese sandwich on a mini griddle in your van, RV, dorm, wherever you have a location. Since you all have been asking how I cook in a van and what my van kitchen setup is, I'm going to show you on the mini griddle. Hi everyone, my name is Gail and welcome to my channel. I do some van life, some travel, some service dog videos, some lifestyle. If we're out here at Laurel Creek enjoying the day. Speaking of service dogs, he's not happy that we are inside the van instead of outside. Don't worry, Pussy. I got you covered. Now, I do have solar. I've done a video on that before. I can link that below. And I do just use a Nostalgia Mini Griddle for cooking, which is heating right now. For this, what you're going to need is a cheese, bread. I'm going to use hamburger buns because I got a pack of the other day, hamburger buns. And you want to reuse what you have. So this is a good way to do just that. And you also need butter or margarine for the bread. We all have our favorite way of cooking grilled cheese sandwiches at home, so change things up. This is just works for me when I'm doing mini griddle cooking. A little bit of butter on the outside of the bun. I use the cut edges. Some of you will call it the wrong side of the bun, and that's okay. It makes for a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. You just have to let the griddle preheat for just a, a minute. The light will come on when you first plug it in, and then it will turn off, and you know it's preheated. Cheese is going to go right in the middle. I'm using two kinds of cheese because that's just the way I roll. I like the Deluxe American and the provolone. I just kind of sandwich it in one on top of the other. And you just slide it in the mini griddle butter side out. Smart people would use oven mitts. I strongly suggest that. But mom told me lots of things. Smart was not one of them. So I'm telling you right now, protect your hands, go get you some oven mitts or some kind of hot mitts so you don't burn yourself. Now it is going to stay open just a little bit and that's fine. What you may want to do in a few minutes is just flip it over or rotate it. Nope, can't go outside yet. You're also going to want your side items for today. We're just going to use potato chips and I have fruit. I've got a little fruit salad going on here. Strawberries, blueberries, and orange. I actually have a really good recipe coming up for strawberry pancakes. We're going to do that in a couple of days. There have been so many questions about cooking on the mini griddle. I may make this a series. Let me know if you want it to be a series. Just drop that comment down below. And while you're at it, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And don't forget to give me a like on the video. And we are going to... Turn this around just a little bit. And you can use whatever cheese you want. Of course, it's your sandwich. You are the Earl of Sandwich of your sandwich. If you want to, you can hold it closed just a little bit. And this is in real time. I'll make a shorts out of it and put it up later, but this is real time so you can see exactly how long it takes to do a grilled cheese sandwich on the mini griddle. Grilled cheese is like one of the easiest things. Uh, you can do cheese quesadillas too. Those are really, really good. It just takes almost no time because you're cooking on both the top and the bottom. And that, my friends, is that. You have it nicely toasted on both sides. Now I'm going to do another one because my husband's coming for lunch. He is out taking videos right now. I'm just going to kind of push that to the side. And I'll be right back. And that is all there is to making a delicious grilled cheese sandwich in the van. Hmm. It's really good. But don't just take my word for it. What do you think? It's really good. I like it a lot. So the only, the big thing is the mini griddle is going to be a little bit of a pain to clean, but not bad because all you're going to do is you are going to take this or something similar and scrape all this off. Wipe it off uh, with a towel 
And then, like I said, I go over it with a Clorox wipe just because I'm like that. You cannot put that in water. But don't worry, it will clean up perfectly. I've done this before, I promise you. Leave me a comment if you want to see more videos like this on how to cook in a van. You can also do the mini griddle at home or in an RV or dorm. It's just great to use. I'm one person. It's perfect for me. It's even good when my husband is with me. And there are tons of things that you can cook on it. So if you want to see a series on this, let me know. This really is the only one who's not happy about cooking on a mini griddle. Tell you what, Pipsy. Let me get this griddle cleaned up and then we'll go outside. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And we're going to see you on the next video. Bye.